Hi everybody, Tim Mix here and today I want to explain you how the RGB channel mixer works and how you can use it for color grading. But first, let's rock the intro. In my last video, I have shown you how you can use a RGB channel mixer for creating looks or look starting points. Today I want to explain you how the RGB mixer works. I think it's important to know that because otherwise you will not be able to know what you are doing if you are working with this tool. It's quite easy, promised. Let's start. As first, we have three channels, the red output channel, the green and the blue output channel. These are the basics of color grading because everything is built up on these three channels. This is part of the 101 basics, the very fundamentals. Ok, but why do we have all three colors in every of those channels? That's quite easy. What are the names of these channels? Right, red output, green output and blue output. So we are mixing only the red color in the red output channel and only the green colors in the green output channel and of course only the blue colors in the blue output channel. That's the most confusing part I know but it's really easy. So if you increase the red in the red output channel you are adjusting only the red in the red areas in your image and if you are increasing the green in the red output channel only the value of red is affected but in the green areas in your image. And finally the same with the blue. If you are decreasing the blue in the red output channel you take away the color red only in the blue areas areas of your image. And that's why this tool is called RGB Channel Mixer. Now you know more <laughs> than the most people out there. You got the idea? Ok, but why have those color sliders different values? Why has red a value of 1 while green and blue have 0 on the red output channel? That's why we are on the red channel. So red should have an output more than 0 in the red uh, channel because otherwise if red would have 0 too the image would not have any red colors, right? And that's the same with the other colors on these channels. In the green output channel we have per default 1 as a green and red and blue have zero. And in the blue output channel the same vice versa. Blue has one and red and green zero. Easy. And all that makes totally sense because in the red output channel red should be the dominating color. And the same in the other channels. Green in the green channel and blue in the blue channel. Let me show you quickly how you can mix the colors with this tool. If you push my red in the red channel more up. I bring in more red to the red areas in the image and let's push it to around maybe 1.23 for example in this case. yeah. And if I increase the green in this channel I bring in more red to the green areas, right? Oh, that looks horrible. Let's bring it back and decrease it a bit, maybe slightly under zero because I want to separate this green areas a bit more from this nice girl here. And why does that work? Right, green is the opposite color from magenta and red. Not exactly from red, but green and red are complementary colors. And that works great for our image here. And finally I want to decrease the red from my blue areas because I don't want to have this bluish magenta shades in this image in the blue shades. Ok, that's an easy and quick explanation how the RGB mixer works. One tip, if you play around look at your vector scope you can see how the sliders affect the color areas in your image. So you will get a better feeling for this tool. And finally there's one more thing. The perception of light not only depends on the radiation power but also crucially on its spectral composition. The human eye does not rate all areas of the spectrum equally brightly. The light stimuli of different wavelengths also create different levels of brightness in the eye. 
So the maximum sensitivity for day vision is 555 nanometers and that is green. So what does it mean? In general and very simply explained, you will perceive green areas brighter than red or blue areas. On other words, the more you lift up the green shades in your image, the brighter it will look like. So be a bit more carefully with the green. And okay, we are done. And if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching and listening. You all a great time and stay safe. Bye.